Nice job, please, man. Thank you. I never heard that song until like you know my kid played for me or something. You know, I don't that bass I actually kind of like it. Uh, really? But you know that they didn't use a bass on that song. No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. No, no, no. We all got that bass. It's like, yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> because you sit on it. So I like the bass. We should know how to ride. We seem to be in a portion of the show. We make these set lists up right, you know, before we go on stage, and they let us use their printer and stuff. So, looking at where we are now, um, I, think, I guess we're doing a bunch of stuff on the live album. Okay. Um, I know this means nothing to you, but that was 1977. And this is our 46th year. You know, we're doing strange events. So be patient, be kind, face them all on. Oh, okay, this is a big song. Okay, true story. We might as well give you guys a little background because we won't be around long enough to remember it much longer. So. Um, uh, our rhythm guitar player, the same guy that has for the constant comment D. He um, even had a farm out in, outside of Cincinnati, about 35 miles. We used to practice out there and, and uh, make beans and rice and play music. And we smoked this awful weed that he grew up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, so bad, good uh, Really, it was like, you know, moldy packs of camels. <laughs> So George and his wife, Brad, he was George's son, we call her Brad, but basically we call her Booty Thing. I mean, he's now putting him in beans and rice, so we we'll figured that out. Anyway, he married her. Well, they, they adopted a pig. It was all fine and dandy. We figured, you know, great, give him a year, we'll barbecue and keep it all. So, the pig was fed pretty well. <laughs> Uh, better, better than George and Brad and us. And uh, the pig got to be about 360 pounds. <laughs> thing was is that Brad, they didn't have kids, so Brad would have the pig sleeping in the same bed as them. <laughs> well, when that the pig got to be 360 pounds, there wasn't much room in the bed for George and Brad. It was just a pig in the middle of the bed going like that. So finally, George grew a set. He says, Susan, the pig's got to go. It's either the pig or me. Guess what? Uh, so the bird moved off the farm. 